most people don't grasp the magnitude of what's occurring right now. It's at a scale that's almost unprecedented. We're here at a very unique time because a century from now, a lot of these animals won't exist anymore. The soul of what we do is conservation education, and that's what gets the staff out of bed every morning. In cooperation with other zoos and other parks around the world, we are the front line of many conservation projects. Endangered species are a very real phenomenon in today's world, and that's because human populations are increasing almost exponentially. We began to look at zoos in terms of what can we do for conservation to prevent that from happening. Our flagship species is the black-footed ferret. They were thought to be extinct as recently as 1981. We're one of just five zoos that takes part in the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service effort to reintroduce them back into their native habitat. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service found a colony of about 120 to 130 ferrets that they studied. They were able to get 18 animals out of the wild. From those 18 animals and their offspring, we produced close to 10,000. In some places, there are less than 5% of habitats left for animals. It just depends on where on the globe that you are. Our grizzly family that came from Montana, they were third strike bears, which means they're either going to be euthanized or a facility like the Louisville Zoo will adopt them. And that's what we did. I don't think any of us dreamed that when we opened this facility that half the animals and the bear exhibit and the seal sea lion exhibit were rescued animals. We went to Cuba and worked with the Cuban crocodile. Not all conservation stories end up with rosy endings. This one isn't finished yet, but this animal is certainly experiencing a lot of trouble in nature. It's an absolute responsibility to let everyone know that what we do here in Louisville, Kentucky, can impact a habitat or human beings 10,000 miles away. Kunick, our icon of Glacier Run, is the ambassador for the discussion of climate change. She comes from a place that is very desolate. It's one of the hardest environments in the world to survive in. And she was tough enough to make it long enough to get here so she could share her story. We're stewards of the entire planet and especially the places where she comes from. There's never been a more important time in the history of civilization than there is today for a modern accredited zoo. We're doing more and more and more to help gorillas, to help polar bears, to help Cuban crocodiles. This last year, first year, we've raised over $100,000 to help with in-the-field conservation. Without zoos, unquestionably, many more species will be lost to extinction.